Well, hello, Scorpio. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. So, Scorpio, we're going to go ahead and get into your general reading for this week, for the week of the 12th or 11th, um, when I'm going to be posting this most likely tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what came out. This literally just popped over, but I'm going to also pull from the top. So you have a card here that basically says guardian of abundance. This is the king of pentacles, which is really good. This talks about your money being very stable, very grounded. For some of you, this is not necessarily the entrepreneur card. For some of you could be entrepreneurs. You have your own business. It's doing very well. Or it, there's going to be some type of increase, okay, if you've been worried about your finances. But here it says this is a time of great success for you. All your plans are being blessed and will move forward perfectly. You see what I'm saying? So it's also unexpected job opportunities for a lot of you who have been waiting for, you know, maybe someone to call you for a job. Something like that is what I'm saying. Let's go ahead. Let's get the other one. Ace of Abundance. There you go. <laughs> so this is really good. This could be a new job. This could be um, money that you've invested in, time investment, uh, something that you win in court or something like that. And it could also be some type of inheritance as well. I always say that when I use this, this deck, and this has been coming out for a lot of people. So congratulations. You actually won the lottery when it came down to this particular card as well. Um, it says a windfall of resources is going to be coming your way to help you with your plans. So we actually talk about plans here, even with the guardian of abundance. So money looks really good. And I feel like it's going to be very unexpected um, <clears throat> money that's going to be coming in here for you. Okay, really good. Uh, for some of you, um, I'm also seeing here, uh, there could be some type of engagement or long term uh, proposal or something like that that could happen in the future or some of you want to re receive some type of proposal here. One more card here. Seven of thought, but there's a little something that you don't trust here with the seven of thought. So I wonder if you're not, you know, this could be a relationships. It doesn't have to be with your finances, but this could be with relationships with certain people, friends, a, a lover, a family member. But this is what it says. You've been confused about a situation in your life. And now suddenly everything is completely clear. Now that's beautiful because if you have been uncertain about something, if you have been suspicious about something, you're going to find out about it or you're going to get clarity on something that you've been confused about. Maybe you needed to make a decision about something. You're going to know exactly what to do. It says whether the truth was revealed by your angels, disclosed by a friend or whatever. OK, it says it's going to feel very great to be aware of where you're where you're headed. OK, and this is a really good thing to see. All right, let's go ahead. Let's keep going. This is going to be for Scorpio. Let's get this for Scorpio, please. Scorpio. <clears throat> okay. Let's get one more for Scorpio. Thank you. Okay. All right. So one of the cards that came out here for you is a... It says your spirit guides and angels want you to connect, want to connect with you. So it talks about you guys praying to give them and give them permission to assist you. OK, so I feel like this is remember, we talked about that whole thing about feeling uncertain. I feel like you're relying on yourself too much. OK, some of you may not even believe in God at all. Some of you guys may not believe in any of this, um, but your assistance can actually come from the universal God. OK. And I feel like for a lot of you, if you are open to allow the universal God to help you, then do so, okay? Um, but again, you know, it's it's just based off of what you believe. But for some of you, that's just a message if you are, you know, if that's something that you believe in. Here it says, speak your truth, stand up for what you believe in. Even if it means standing alone, you are strong enough. So, um. I mean, this is your expression. This is how you feel when it comes down to some, you know, right and wrong. You could be in a classroom debating something about history and 
someone says something that you know isn't accurate, you know, historically correct. It could be uh, something in a friendship circle. It could be in you with your lover or family. It's like, no, this is not right. I stand on what I feel. That is not right. If it was reversed, it would hurt you. And, you know, if, if you were the person involved, it would harm you or hurt you. So the same goes for anyone else. So you know what's right. But again, when it comes down to personal relationships, you are speaking your truth and standing your ground for what you want here. And you're not being bullied out of that. Your last card here says, it's time to go out there and hunt for what you want. Stay focused. That's basically what I'm saying here is for you guys just to stay focused on what it is that you are desiring. This is for Scorpio. Let's go ahead. Let's keep going. This is for Scorpio. Scorpio. Let's see what's coming out here. Scorpio. <clears throat> Okay. Interesting. I already know what the will says. Here it is, indecision. So again, something about there's a decision that you need to make here. Somebody around you is greedy or just you being careful about greed. Beware of greed. This could be eating too much. This could be, you know, really wanting a lot of money to the point that you're hurting other people. This could be sexual partners where you're hurting other people. So just be careful about that. Here, remember when we talked about standing your ground? Do not back down from opposition. Okay. Yeah, because I, I do feel like someone is pushing you or making you feel you know, something that you, you don't want to feel, but you got to accept it. It's almost, you almost feel like you have to accept it. It's either my way or the highway type of thing. And here it talks about standing up for yourself. This card says, do not be tempted to lower your standards. And if you accept what someone else is thinking, even when you know it's not right, that's you lowering your standards here. Okay. In relationships, possibly you have a man here. It could be a man or a woman. All right. You also have beware of great pride. Now you have two cards here that talks about beware. Beware of great pride. Beware of greed. That means you're getting something. That means you're getting recognition. You're A lot of people want you, but you don't want it to go to your head. Or you're dealing with someone that's like that. Someone is dealing with a really big ego problem. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Here with September, something could be happening by September here. This could be... Um, a business could happen in September. Marriage could be happening in September. You could be dealing with a Libra or a Virgo here. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's keep going. Let's get into your tarot. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, well, I got to use these because my other tarot cards, I believe. I'll use these, one, these instead then. This is for Scorpio. Now, Scorpio, this is going to be for your, this is going to be for your money and your love, okay? Let's get the past energy. Let's see what you've been dealing with. Huh? See a lot of, even recently, you could have been in, in fights or arguments with someone here, uh, you know, because of some secrets. So, you know what I mean? It could be a secret person. I feel like you, someone, you could be fighting for change. You need change to happen, and it's it's not easy. You feel maybe maybe you're fighting to change someone, okay? But either way, I do see some resistance here, and I feel there's been some drama and a lot of hurt here with the Ten of Swords. Got the Knight of Swords in your reading. So I do feel like if, for a lot of you, there's going to be, if you haven't already reached this, I mean, I do see that there's a love interest in your life. I feel like there's people who have even come in your life, even when it comes down to your finances, who have helped you in the past. A lot of things are changing. I'm telling you, when I tell you there's going to be a lot of change, let's get it. Maybe hasty decisions, though, in the past, making, making, yeah, there it, there it is again. That's sitting right in your placement here with the two of swords. It talks about, remember, we kept saying this over and over again about how decision, decisions <laughs> that you have to make. And then it came out here with the two of swords. 
There's something that you're going to have to figure out. And remember Ed, with that seven of swords earlier, it said you will get clarity about what you should do and what direction you should go down and stuff like that. Okay. You may end something here. It's going to be a change, period. You may end something or sacrifice something to be with the person you want to be with. Or you may end something just entirely just because you, you're not getting what you want. Okay. This could be a job as well. Okay. Let's go ahead. This is for Scorpio. And, uh, you know, oh, this literally flipped over. And, oh. There could be someone here that's trying to decide if they want to stay with someone because there's been a lot of cheating. There could be someone here trying to decide if they want to let these these partner other partners go. <laughs> okay? In order to be with one person. Because again, I saw a lot of drama, fighting, arguments, that type of thing. A lot of heartbreak here. A lot of a lot of heartbreak you've experienced. This is for Scorpio. Thank you. Wow. Star card. And there it is with the debt, with the, 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 uh, sorry, try to get it out. The tower card. A lot of, I mean, I tell you, <laughs> this is going to be crazy. You may hear about somebody, um, you may hear about someone famous. Here. That something may have happened to someone famous, but I'm also seeing here with the star card that this is also, um, this energy of wanting something that you feel is meant for you, but the reality here with the tower card that that may not be. It's like an epiphany moment. Like it's written in the stars, right? Like you feel like something or someone is meant for you, but I'm not necessarily seeing you getting what you want because this is still a hope and a dream. And maybe you're realizing here. Remember, we said this going to something is going to become clear, and we can kind of see that with the tower card. Yeah, an epiphany that something isn't going to turn out the way you want it to turn out. There's definitely change that you are not even prepared for here, Scorpio. the moon card some of you are still sad because you had to move on from someone that you really really loved you moved on from something or someone that you again felt like was meant for you I had a car honking outside it's an alarm going off Alarm going off with the Three of Pentacles. And I got the Moon card at the bottom of the deck. Some of you do have to check. I don't know. I feel like some of you have to get some type of help or have a su support system. Because some of you really are sad. And you're not really getting the support system that you need. I've been seeing that with a lot of signs. And it makes sense. There's this sense of a lonely and isolation with a lot of people. So, I again, again, yes. I feel like you really do need to get some type of support system if you are suffering in some kind of way but and it could be because again you have to move on from something that you thought was meant to be yeah here with the eight of cups there's a sense of unfulfillment here dissatisfaction with life okay yeah two of wands moving forward but you can't trust something here with the seven of, we have the seven of Taurus, the seven of Taurus, the seven of swords twice which is letting me know there is something so fishy and so funny about someone that you really want but you can't trust somebody. And this two of wands is like moving on and finally like being able to like move on from something that you know isn't going to work. Some of you guys are stuck in a relationship that you're now stuck in for whatever reason. And you're just not happy. You're being mistreated. Let's get the last card. This is going to be the outcome here. Thank you. Yep. Five of swords at the bottom of the deck. Knight of wands. This is, man. Whew, somebody here is just a cheater. I mean, 
if this is who they are and they're very open about it, I mean, it may still hurt. But the truth of the matter is somebody is not ready. And there has been a lot of hasty decisions on both ends, your part and your person's part. And, you know, I, I, again, someone is demanding something different. Remember, it said, do not lower your standards. And I feel like you guys have been. You've been lowering your standards. And now you're not happy. So you got to make a decision here. You got to make a decision to either get your act right if you're the one who's causing pain to, to, to someone else or you're going to have to make a decision to leave something that is just, there's no integrity here. Okay. This is what I have for you, Scorpio. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Uh, and thanks for supporting me. If you are interested in a personal reading, all of that is below. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.